Hello. Today is Monday, November 25, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I'd like to talk about the Southern Caribbean Sea, where a low-pressure system may develop by the end of this week. It might encounter marginally favorable conditions for tropical development before moving over Nicaragua or Costa Rica. Additionally, we'll discuss a frontal system and a trough that are expected to bring heavy rainfall across Jamaica, Haiti, Cuba, the Southern Bahamas, the Turks and Caicos Islands, and we'll also cover the expected rainfall accumulations in southern Central America associated with a low-pressure system potentially forming this coming weekend. Remember, the hurricane season officially ends next Saturday, November 30th. However, some years have seen tropical cyclone formation outside the official season, including during December. Keep in mind that sea surface temperatures across the Caribbean remain above normal. In fact, the current average temperatures in the Caribbean Sea exceed what we typically see during the peak of the season so there's still a small chance of cyclonic development. However, the probabilities are very low, and the National Hurricane Center has not marked this area as having any potential for tropical development. Looking at historical data since 1851, only two tropical cyclones have formed northwest of Colombia. These typically follow a west-southwest trajectory, approaching Costa Rica or Nicaragua. However, one of them moved northeast, affecting the Dominican Republic. The good news is that any tropical cyclone developing in this area will likely remain weak due to less favorable conditions for significant strengthening. Why are we monitoring the area east of Nicaragua? Some global models suggest the development of a circulation and a low-pressure system this weekend. For example, the American model projects a tropical depression or tropical storm forming early next week, with a westward trajectory eventually reaching eastern Nicaragua. The German model also predicts a weak tropical depression or storm developing Friday afternoon east of Nicaragua. Furthermore, the European model's artificial intelligence version shows a low-pressure system forming north of Panama and moving towards southern Nicaragua or northern Costa Rica. Additionally, some ensemble members of the American model suggest low-pressure development, with approximately 5% indicating a tropical storm forming before reaching Nicaragua, while others project a north-northeast trajectory. The European model ensemble similarly shows about 5% of its members predicting a tropical depression or storm moving towards southern Nicaragua or northern Costa Rica. Overall, although some global models forecast low pressure development east of Nicaragua, the climatology and projections from the top global models suggest extremely low probabilities for tropical cyclone development in this area. Regardless of cyclone development, a rainy week is expected for Jamaica, eastern Cuba, western Haiti, the Turks and Caicos Islands, and the southern Bahamas. Over the weekend and early next week, showers could also affect eastern Nicaragua and Costa Rica. The latest American model projection indicates rainfall accumulations of 200 to 300 mm for Jamaica, eastern Cuba, the Turks and Caicos Islands, and the southern Bahamas this week, particularly in the latter half. Meanwhile, areas of Panama, Costa Rica, and eastern Nicaragua could see 100 to 200 mm of rain this weekend and early next week. Caution is advised due to potential flooding in these areas, especially in Jamaica and eastern Cuba. That's all for this video. I'll continue monitoring the Caribbean Sea and will record additional updates as necessary. To ensure you don't miss these updates, please check if you're subscribed to my channel. If not, subscribe and click the notification bell to get alerts when I post new videos. Have a great start to your week. See you next time.